And so it's been a long tour for you. This is the last stop. It has. And so when did you start your tour? We started a month ago to the day. On the 20th of August, we drove to Glasgow. So literally, it's been a month to the day. Why? A long month. But it's good. And is, this, is this your first tour? No, it's, it's the first of the year, but no, we've, we've done a few. And um, we'll probably go home now and sleep for like a week. Just, yeah. What are your plans, Eddie? Apart from sleeping, when you wake up, what, what do you look at in the next few weeks? Uh, a single being released on the 3rd of October, which is basically a week away. Um, and that's going to start the world domination that everyone knows and is expecting. Where are you going to find that? Is that on iTunes or? iTunes, Amazon, um, all other selected singles. But it's all the only downloads. But what, what song is it going to be? Trust. My good friend Stephen Fry, yeah. Oh, did he Really? What did he have to say about that? He said that um, we were initially disturbing, but ultimately brilliant. I've got that tattoo now <laughs> on my arm as a, as a sign of uh, uh, our now, friendship. How did you two meet for the band? The, the more pretty one over there. How did we meet? Uh, it was an unfortunate circumstance. Uh, no, we met at Music College. Um, Where was that? In Brighton. And we initially were going to start a, a rock band. I was looking for a singer, and then we got together, and what happened, happened, and here we are today. And who writes the songs? Is it shared? Both do. And the ones that you had tonight, was it about a 50-50 mix of... Uh... Um, what about the, the arrangement? Is it uh, the lyrics are by one and the music by the other, or is it...? It's generally the lyrics and music as a fuss created by one, and then we come together, and then it kind of goes through the bitter wind, and then we... The bitter ruined blender. And out the other end, spews some kind of musical monstrosity. I, I hadn't noticed the bitter ruined blender on the table for sale over there. No, it's not. Uh, no, not for sale. It's, top it's a top secret yeah. blender, is it? No, I see. So yeah, so we come together, and that's kind of our. Um, our I don't want to use the word clashing, but our opposing influences kind of create. Brilliant. It was a wonderful show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. So that six, six of these, six, six, these six of the concerts. Yeah. And what do you think of Bitter Ruin then? What's their future hold for them? Uh, I think it, all it'll take is just one performance on later with Jules Holland, and then they'll be massive immediately. An excellent show this evening. Thank you so much. How did you get your start? How did we get our start? And then how did you start playing? Or maybe you personally. What, what intrigued you about music? From what age? Do you know, I don't know. I have always been, as far as I can remember, a singer. I used to sing in the back of the car, I always go from nursery, I think, you know. Um, then I kind of had this phase for about a week where I wanted to be a vet, and that very quickly went back to wanting to be a singer. Um, so I just went straight to performing arts school, and then straight to music school, and, um, and ended up here, strangely. Where did you get your ideas from for your songs? Are you the songwriter or are you the lyric writer? We both write the songs. Um, uh, we write the songs separately and then bring them together. Um, the ideas, I don't know. I just think I have this very strange, twisted brain. Um, I, I think, uh, I mean, everything comes from life experience. Um, always an embellishment on a life experience. So uh, it, they're true stories. They're true stories. Now you've been on tour for a month. A month, yeah. It's been, it's been crazy. Um, and we decided to end up in winter, uh, which has been so much fun. I can't even express how still, I mean, we got standing ovation. Uh, me and Ben had an argument. It was great. It was fantastic. No, it was lovely. Stand a songwriter beyond anything I've seen in years, many, many years. Fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Did you have a favourite out of the show? Um, not really, but there were a couple that were really, very, uh, quite emotional. I felt most, just suddenly got into their world and I was falling about feeling a bit teary. <laughs> what do you think of the guitar? The guitar playing is uh, very imaginative. He's, he's obviously you know, listened to lots of different styles and incorporated that in his playing. It's, it's, it's fantastic.
Yes. What about the singer? The, she was just such a rage, I thought. Well, you know, she was able to, to take terribly, terribly quiet singing to basically loud, huge voice. Way up there, way down there. But, you know, I, I would say anyone would enjoy that. What do you think the future holds for them? Uh, well, instead of playing to um, 80 people, they should be playing to thousands. Although I think they would be very good at writing a, a, perhaps a, a, show, a stage show, which is a narrative all the way through. A kind of, um, I'm sure that's what they probably end up doing, writing a, a big stage show. Because they started out that way with an interesting beginning, I thought, with them back to back. Yeah, well, they got the miniatures uh, of each song as a miniature little show in itself. But then after that, I think they could sort of break out into writing a whole narrative show. Would they hold the audience captive, do you think, through a whole show like that? Without a doubt. No problem whatsoever. Vincent Lindsay Card, thank you very much.